Okay, so today we're going to be doing the Wash Media Geography Bee. You'll be answering 10 video questions about world geography. We've tried to span the whole globe, so let's see how you do. Yeah, hi, Dylan Shivery, Wash Media. We're doing a Geography Bee here. Uh, my name's Will DeFreeze, host of Circling Back Podcast. Uh, hi, I'm David. I work here at Washed Media. Sure, so I am uh, Brett Merriman at Schmerriman, host of the Cold Stove Podcast and the Melon Podcast. Confidence level, uh, not great. I don't even think I could like name all 50 states in the United States, honestly. It was just given like a blank sheet. Very confident in this. Geography has always been my thing. I know this is like a joke within the community that I'm bad at geography. I'm actually good at geography. You could say I'm pretty confident with my geography. I, I don't feel super confident today. And based on the fact that I don't know my left and from my right, I'm gonna assume that uh, I'm not gonna do very well today. I expect to go for 10 for 10. What's up class? Geography day. I'm your professor, Professor Worldwide, Dala. So today we're testing your world geography knowledge. Hope you studied up, because this test will test you. So let's start off with a real easy one. What is the largest state in the United States by landmass? Question number one, here we go. What's up, class? <laughs> geography day. Hey. Professor, Professor Worldwide. You look so Dalla. handsome. Geography day. I'm your professor, Professor Worldwide, Professor Worldwide. Huh. So today we're testing Randy, where did you even get this like generic teacher outfit? <sighs> my head wants my head's going Jacksonville. Um just because I know I had an Uber driver once there. Dylan was there, so was Will. He told us all about it. Uh but but that's not a state. Um it's actually a city. Contiguous or, or all fifty? All fifty. Alaska. Uh the largest state in the United States by landmass is uh gotta be Alaska. The largest state in the United States by landmass is obviously Alaska. And this is by landmass. I'm going to go with Alaska. Lock it in. That is correct. Oh, hello, comrade, and welcome to Russia. The city behind me is known as the Window to the West, or it was better known as Russia's capital city from 1712 to 1918. What is this city? Let's check out the next question. Here we go, number two. Well, hello, comrade. Oh my God. Welcome to Russia. The city Are you gonna get us canceled for your uh, accent? Nice pea coat, Randy, and driving what gloves. This what is this Russian city? It was uh, known to many as the Window to the West. So there's two options here. Yeah, it's Window to the West. It's either Moscow or St. Petersburg. I, I can eliminate Stalingrad because obviously Joseph Stalin was not around during this time period. So it's a process of elimination. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a, a look inside my head, how I'm going about these questions. From 1912 to, what was it? I missed that. Uh, it doesn't, it's not going to help me. The Window to the West, uh, based on the fact that I only know about uh, one uh, city in Russia, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Moscow. So it's interesting because 1918 is the Bolshevik Revolution, so I'm going with St. Petersburg, lock it in. I am going to go with... I'm just gonna name the only city in Russia I think I can name, which is Moscow. So uh, lock it in. Do I feel good about it? Not really. But I mean, I, I, I don't have any other answers that I could come up with, so I'm gonna go with Moscow. I don't really know any other cities in Russia. St. Petersburg. Locked in. That is correct. That is correct. Incorrect. St. Petersburg. Duh. St. Petersburg. Yeah, I, I would never have guessed that. I, there's no, I mean, I, that's in Florida. Greetings, Earthling. Outside the window, you can see your tiny little planet. Take a look. Puny, small, insignificant. That's not important. What is important is that your planet is divided into the northern and southern hemisphere by a line called the equator. I hope you knew that. Anyways, there are two other lines to the north and south of it called the tropics. What are their names? 
Question three. Oh my god. I don't like what's happening here. That's correct. Uh huh. I did. Uh, wow. This is a good question. This is this is a little bit of a curveball. I can't tell you what the actual long. I actually probably could tell you the longitude and latitude lines of these. Probably between zero and forty-five or ninety or something. I don't. I don't fucking care. I know this. The Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Capricorn. I really hope that's correct because I sound really confident. And if it's not, I'm gonna look like a total dumbass. But I think that's right. Final answer. Instead of giving you a serious answer, I'm going to give you a humorous one. Uh, Tropic Thunder, <laughs> one of my favorite comedies. Um, I'm going to go with the Tropic of Cancer as well as the Tropic of Capricorn. Um, no, seriously though, let's do, is it like uh, the subterranean tropic in the, uh, in the um, I don't know, I don't fucking know. Get this shit at it, what is this? What is it, just tell me, locked in, I don't know. Uh, those are the Tropic of Cancer. In the Tropic of Capricorn. That is correct. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> As a Capricorn myself, I'd be devastated if I didn't get that. The Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Fuck, I did know that. Ah, <sighs> beautiful, isn't it? One of America's natural wonders, the Grand Canyon. What state is it in? Question four, here we go. One of America's natural wonders. I think Randy wanted his cake Grand showcased Canyon. in this part of it. Wow, the echo. <laughs> I've been there. What state is the Grand Canyon in? I guess it's in, uh, let's see, hold on, hold on. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, laugh, Brett. Wow, some of these have been a little bit, uh, these have been so easy that I, I'm like second guessing myself. So it's like, uh, whoa, if I just throw this out there, is that right? It's it's uh, Arizona locked in Grand Canyon. The, the Grand Canyon? It's in Arizona. I'm gonna have to lock it in. Oh God, it's, uh, I wanna say Arizona, but why does that not feel right to me right now? Arizona, final answer. It's in Arizona, final answer. That is correct. Okay, God. <laughs> Welcome to one of the new seven wonders of the world, Machu Picchu. This South American attraction is located in the Andes Mountains, but in what country? Oh. Hmm. Do you need earmuffs at Machu Picchu? It's a good one. You went to a lot of great locations, Randy. This is really. Did we pay for this? It seems like quite the expensive venture. I'm not confident in this answer, but for some reason, Peru is standing out to me. Uh, doesn't feel right, but I'm not gonna come up with anything better than that. So let's go with Peru. Ooh, there's two here that I'm thinking through, but I'm just gonna go with Peru, lock it in. Luckily for me, I did a group project on this in fifth grade, and I was a very big fan of the country at the time based on the way that it was shaped and the way that it was named. Peru, locked in. What country is Machu Monsu Picchu in? Is that, am I saying that right? Probably not. I'm going to say, that uh, this uh, particular question can be answered uh, in this fashion. It is in Peru locked in. That is correct. Let's go. I was a big Machu Picchu guy back in elementary school. Always wanted to go there. Let's fucking go. Am I doing better than these idiots? You can't tell me that. That sucks. Looks like Mount Vesuvius just blew. Gods must be pretty pissed at us here in Pompeii, so looks like it's the end for us. But for you guys, in the modern day, Mount Vesuvius is still standing. What modern day city does it overlook? How many outfits do you have? You have more outfits Looks for like this Mount than Vesuvius Dave had for spooky blew. season. Gods must be <laughs> Okay. I'm a little confused as to how brick and concrete can be on fire in this video, but either way, that's fine. I appreciate the graphics work done. Looks like Mount Vesuvius just blew. Randy's horny. Guys must be pretty pissed. What modern day city does it overlook? 
going to replay that one. See if I can get any context clues. I have no freaking idea. I don't even know what country this is in. I keep, I keep looking at sound guy Dave over here like he's going to help me. I'm not going to say Pompeii because, <clears throat> excuse me, I believe Pompeii was absolutely demolished. So if Pompeii is the answer, fine, and it's like this this ancient little attraction thing, go go get your, uh, I was going to say balsamic rock. That's not the, the correct term. I really don't know. I, I am, um, I, I'm really having trouble getting past the whole Randy and a toga thing. Um, is that all this is? It's a, it's ran, so Randy like gets like a, a looks hot on a video. He's like, oh, I'm wearing it. Look at my arm, dude. I, I do biceps. I've got big arms for some reason. Is this a trick question? Is the answer Pompeii? <laughs> I don't have no idea. I'll go Pompeii. Is that even a city? Pompeii. Final answer. Uh, based on the fact that I don't know where Mount Vesuvius is, I don't know what country it's in, uh, based on the fact that I don't know where Pompeii was, but I know that there were some, some columns within the uh, video right here, so I'm going to assume that we're maybe working in Greece right now or something. I'm just going to throw one out there and just say it overlooks Rome. Because I don't have another answer for you, I'm just going to say Pompeii. Final answer. Oh my, I should know this. This is going to be one of the ones that's embarrassing that I didn't know. Um, I really don't know. Um, uh, Naples, locked in. That is correct. Are you fucking kidding? Yeah. Is it not? Really? It's Naples, Italy. I wasn't even sure if it was Italy. I was like, I was overthinking it. Let's go. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. Crikey. I'm out here on the Australian Outback looking for blooming onions. We all know Australia. You know, Foster's, The Outback, Margot Robbie, Chris Hemsworth, all that stuff. Kangaroos. But what's the capital of Australia? Question number seven. Here we go. I'm pissed that I got one wrong. Cracky. I'm out here on the Australian Outback looking for blooming onions. Okay, your Australian accent Australia, is something. You know, Foster's. I like that you went a bucket Outback. hat for this, too. I'm out here on the Australian Outback. <laughs> too soon. It's a terrible Australia, Australian accent. You know, Foster's, the Foster's. Back, the Ooh, Hemsworth, he's horny again. All that stuff. Margot Robbie, Chris Hemsworth, all that stuff. Kangaroos. You got horny what? Randy, too. What's the capital of Australia? I, I know, I know, like, the major city, like, the big city there, and I, but I, for some reason, I'm thinking that's not the capital, but it, I think it's the only one that I can, I can pull off the top of the dome right now. It's, uh, the obvious answer would be Sydney. But I don't know if that's correct. We know Melbourne, Perth, and Sydney. Sydney feels like the obvious choice because like the Olympics were held there. It's the closest one to America, so that's where everyone flies into. Is it Adelaide? Is it Perth? Is it Sydney? Um, it's Australia. Uh, I hope to go there one day. A lot of, a lot of fun creatures. Um, I don't think it's Perth. I think Perth is kind of sketch. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to overthink it, and I'm just going to, I'm going to go with Sydney, and I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to go Sydney. It's got to be Sydney. Final answer. I hate this. It's like Sydney's the chalk answer because it's the biggest city in Australia, but I don't want to be wrong here, but I, I, world capitals have never been my jam. So I'm going with Sydney, Australia. Final answer. It's definitely not this, but I'm going to go Sydney locked in. Incorrect. What is it? Canberra. Oh, no one's getting that. I guarantee it. Nobody. If, they, if anybody gets that, I'll give them $5. U.S. Today, we find ourselves here on the Serengeti, home to many of Africa's animals. Ah, a marvelous sight to behold indeed. A true household name, the Serengeti. But do you happen to know what country the Serengeti is located in? Here we go. Is it, do we do we pay for the stock footage of animals, or did you go to Africa? What's he doing? He's doing David Attenborough. Well done, Randy. This is good. We're gonna get DMCA'd for the stock footage of the animals, aren't we? I feel like this is one that you should know. I feel like it's one I don't know. I would have thought it was it spanned multiple countries, honestly. I would have thought that. But it does not, apparently, unless Randy botched this, which, be honest, 
I think Brett helped him with this, so um, no offense. I, I, I don't know, but I'm going to guess that it is uh, Nigeria locked in. What country is the Serengeti located in? Oh my gosh. Upon first thought, I would think the Serengeti is in, in multiple countries. But I think most of it is in Tanzania, final answer. No, it's the short answer, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, Nigeria, final answer. And in terms of the Serengeti, I'm going to just have to take a wild, a wild guess here. I'm going to go with Zaire. Locked in. What was it? Tanzania. Oh, son of a bitch. What's up, geography gerbils? I'm on a map. I'm here in Southeast Asia. You think you know geography? You don't. What is this country, smarty pants? What's up, geography gerbils? <laughs> I'm on a map. Hate what I'm you're doing here. Hate I'm here what you're doing Southeast here. Southeast Asia. You're here in Southeast Asia. You think you know geography? Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Can I? Can I? Can I go pull it? Pull it up and look at it a little more. Pull it back. Southeast Asia. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna run it back. It's a new segment we're doing. Okay. Don't need. Don't need a edgy teenage Randy making me feel like an idiot before I even try to answer the question. That's. It's, this is another area that I'm not super familiar with. Never done a lot of travels there. Not a lot of stuff that I take in is from these places. Uh, I'm going to go with Southeast Asia. It's just, just never been. I have, there's like Laos, Vietnam. You can get a little political because some countries like Brunei aren't called Brunei anymore and Borneo aren't called Borneo anymore. You got to be a little careful of those. That, though, I'm going to guess is Malaysia. The smile that you give at the end of this question really it shows how proud you are of yourself. Okay. Uh, let's do this. So we got in this area, we've got Laos. Um, we've got obviously Vietnam, North Korea, South Korea. I'm going to, I'm going to say, I know it's not Japan, but I, I don't have, I don't have an educated guess at this point. So I'm going to go to Japan, locking in my answer. I have two choices in my head. This is killing me. I'm sorry. I'm taking so long on this one. I just really don't want to get it wrong, but I'm going to, I'm going with Thailand locked in. I don't, I don't know, um, but I'm going to say something and it's going to be a guess that's wrong, but people are going to be like, oh, that was, that was a good guess. Like the fact that he pulled that up, that's, is that New Guinea locked in? It's Malaysia. Fuck! The, Malaysia. The, prime, the prime minister of Malaysia was in Zoolander. I should know this. I feel like they definitely showed a map during that. Oi, bro. It's a prime meridian, isn't it? What London town does the Prime Meridian run through? Here are some hits. That's the Royal Observatory, and also the time measured on the Prime Meridian's line is known as blank mean time. Blank is the name of the town. God save the Queen. Question 10. The final question, huh? Unless there's a bonus. I love a good bonus question. Let's get serious. Save the queen. Terrible accent from Randy here. Um, the Royal Observatory is located there. Blank mean time. I can't get a hint on the first letter for the uh, blank mean time. I know, I know this, but it, it's like deep in my memory bank somewhere, and I can't find it. Um, God, what is it? The Royal Observatory is located here. This is bullshit because Will probably knew this one just like because of a soccer team or something. It's the Royal Observatory and also the time measured on the Prime Meridian. It's Greenwich because it's Greenwich Mean Time. Blank Mean Time. Blank is the name. I beat of the you time. to your own question. Heathrow. Is that a is that a city a town? Oi, Greenwich in it. Final answer. I should know this. Okay, so is it in London? Can I get any hints at all? Is it in London? Or is it outside of London? You son of a bitch. 
I don't know. Let's, I'm going to say the word Essex and just hope that it's right. Locked in. Don't care. I'm over it. Greenwich. Greenwich. That's hard. That's a hard question. Greenwich. Will might have got that. There's a 100% chance Dylan does not get that. Greenwich? Is it Greenwich? Final answer. That is correct. Let's fucking go. Will didn't get that. Let's go. Okay, so how do you think he did? Um, I wanted I wanted seventy percent. Obviously, I was I was sub seventy. What I get like six out of ten, five out of ten. Okay, overall, I think I did poorly by like regular smart people standards, but watch media standards. I think I did fairly well. Um, I would guess that I did better than Will and better than Dave. Yeah, I, went, I mean eight out of ten. I think that's probably pretty solid. I think. Uh, Australian capital geography, I'd probably have to brush up on. There was a couple. the 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 one that it's it's going to really stick with me is the uh, the Tropic of Capricorn, the Tropic of Cancer, right? Is that the two? That one's gonna that one I'm going to think about tonight. Um, I'm happy with my performance. A couple of embarrassing answers in there, I realize, but overall, I feel pretty good about it. Four out of ten? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get last in this.